but of course. Sleep well. Define well. I admire your tenacity, but where exactly have you brought me? And who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelard, hmm? Ah, I take it you know about that. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Oh, so you're the Dark Brotherhood. That explains the outfit. And the poison. And the blood. So, I take it you want me to murder someone else? Who, exactly? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see... There's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. And what if I refuse? What if I wish to have no part in this insanity of yours? Now that is a shame. But what you fail to realize is that you involved yourself in this insanity when you took Greylod's life. You made your choice. Now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. You don't leave this shack until someone dies. I don't leave this shack until someone dies. Well, that's an interesting way to put it. So, who have we here? Someone in this shack has a bounty on them. Unfortunately for you, Miss Astrid, I think you may have mistaken me for somebody that I'm not. I think you may have mistaken me for somebody who isn't Morag Tong. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was grisly. Clean, though. Interesting enchantments on these. That would have been nice to have when she shot me. I may well take some of it. I'll leave you clothed, however. Oh, I did take your dagger. I need something to send back to my father, you see? Right, you're dead, you don't care. 
So, what's your story? Come now, my friend. Haven't we played this game long enough? Untie me, and we can all go our separate ways. All right. You seem a decent sort. Ah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Let's the two of us just forget we ever met, hmm? And what about you? You cut these bindings this minute. You hear me? You cut these bindings right now! Until next time. I don't much like you. <laughs> and what about you? Please. Please release me. Cut my bonds. You sound terrified. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll never speak of this to anyone. I promise. That's probably for the best. You may want to forget you ever saw my face, also. Just in case, of course. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you, now would we? Well, that was easier than I thought. Where am I? Well, this is unfortunate. It doesn't exactly look like anywhere near Windhelm. Great. Syra is going to have my hide for this. However, this looks cold. I do rather have things to do now that I've taken out the competition, so to speak. Hmm, perhaps that's what I should tell my father. I do hate this place. It is desperately cold. What is that up there? Is that a city? That must be a city. Oh, of course. I'm going to be making my way back through the fog. Back through the swamp? In the fog. Always a delight. Deeper than it looks. Not like I didn't need a bath to get the blood off, but... Right. This is probably dangerous. Like I said. Oh dear. Right. This is not going well. Oh boy. <laughs> Not good. Oh. Your breath is awful. Who is that?
Ah, of course, there's still one more. Hello. Are you alright? I saw you run into that and... Well, I couldn't just stand by and let you get mauled by wolves, although it sort of looks like you did a bit. <laughs> uh, yes. You look a bit shaken. Also, what are you? What am I? That depends entirely on why you're asking. And why you're in the middle of a swamp. Oh, well, I was collecting herbs. In a swamp? Swamps grow the best herbs. They're also quite dangerous. Obviously. I'm not a child. I could have shot you in the back when you came out of that house over there. So you were watching all of that. How much did you see? Well, you getting unbearably lost, first of all. I saw the woman in the very uncomfortable looking red and black thing drag you in. There was actually a big man helping her. He was not wearing shoes, if I recall, which I find strange out here. This is not barefoot sort of ground. Ah, uh, well, she's dead. Oh, I heard when you killed her. And you're not afraid I'd kill you for overhearing? Well, I wasn't before you said that. You don't seem especially worried about picking flowers in a werewolf-infested wetland. Do you know your way around out here? Maybe. You seem quite lost. Oh, yes. She drugged me and dragged me out here from Windhelm, of all places. I'm amazed nobody caught her doing it. Well, they sort of looked like they were trying to get you to a healer, but... In those costumes, I'm sure. I could pay you if you'd lead me to... that city up there. I've just killed a woman and I want to report a body. Do the right thing, you know? Is that the sort of thing that people are supposed to do? It's a thing I'm supposed to do, specifically. It's part of my job. Which is... At the moment, surviving long enough to get back to work. Right, I'll take you to... Solitude. You don't sound especially fond of this development. What, you don't expect me to actually pay you? No, no, I don't care about the money, I just... don't like cities. Ah, too noisy. Too many people. I don't like feeling like I need to constantly watch over my shoulder for fear of someone stabbing me. And I rather dislike swamps. To each their own, I suppose. Can I ask you a favor when we get there? It's the least I can do if you're not interested in money. What sort of favor? I need to find an herbalist. <laughs> So do I. I don't fancy becoming one of those things. I mean, I don't think you will. I don't know much about how werewolves work, but... Well... I've just gotten torn to shreds... in this sort of environment. I don't fancy getting any sort of other illness, either. Right, that's a good point. Uh, do you know any way around the water? Well, sort of. Here, do you have a map? Yes. Oh. Well, I suppose we're going the long way around then, aren't we? Well, it's it's the driest way. It's not necessarily the quickest way, but if you're worried about getting in the water again, then... Right. That looks like it stings. Oh, it does. That's why I need to find an herbalist. Surely you've been to solitude if you know your way around here. Well, two, yes. In, not on your life. 
I don't want to go in alone. I don't know what to say. I'm always going to say something that makes people angry with me. For some reason. Nords just don't care for subtlety, do they? You don't like Nords either. Well, not dislike or hate. More like... Uh, tolerance for the sake of business. I would rather be back home in Blacklight, but alas, duty calls. Where is Blacklight? Blacklight is over the mountains on the other end of the province. Not actually that far from Windhelm as the crow flies. What is this? Something Syrah might like. You alright? Do I look alright to you? Ugh, to think I almost turned into that. <laughs> right. Well. I'm from mountains on this side of the province. I'm not actually sure how big a province is, actually. What is this? Um, as far as I know, it's just a watchtower of sorts. I don't like to come near it because it's got all of those spikes on it and... I'm not sure if it's abandoned or not. Well, we can find out. Uh, I don't feel like doing that with my shoulder. That is going to heal poorly, isn't it? Well, we'll see. The good news is this drizzle is washing it off a little bit. Right, mountains on this side of the province. So you're a fabled reachman, or reach woman, I suppose. That would explain a few things. And what would you do if I said that I was? Nothing, really. We have no quarrel with each other. And I don't know nearly enough about what's going on with that bit of unpleasantness to comment on it. I see. That makes me feel somewhat better about wandering around a city with you. To find an herbalist. A specific one, yes. For... Healing herbs. She could have been more specific. I probably have some of what she needs in my stash. Oh, that's cold. What happened? Why did you just... Oh. Where did that come from? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe better. There it is. Ouch! Not good. Are you alright? Nope. That thing poisoned me. That... That is potent. Give me a moment, I'm just going to sit down. Alright. I'm not going to sit down. It's probably too dangerous to out here. I just need a moment. Oh, death bell. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's just a spider. Right. Looks like you need an herbalist too. Maybe a bit. So...
Do you need any help? I sort of... I might be able to brew something for you. I have my mortar and pestle with me. An herbalist yourself, then. Oh yes, I'm carrying on the proud family tradition of brewing poisons that could turn someone's viscera the wrong way out. What? Noted. Might I barter with you for some of these poisons? Or potions? <laughs> so your job is killing people? When pressed, yes. I do try not to unless I have explicit permission to do so. Right. And barter, yes. Maybe. What do you have that could help me? I suppose that would depend largely on what you would find useful. Coin, obviously. I could perhaps gift you with something in town. A new sword or a bow, maybe. A saber? I could get you a saber, probably. No, no, I'm remembering something an old hermit told me. A saber. In black you bind. I'm just going to take it stealthy from here on out. I like that plan. That's a good plan. We could probably just go across there. Unless you don't want to swim in the salt water with all of your wounds. Which I wouldn't blame you one bit if you did. Didn't. Rather. I must admit. I don't like the idea. Oh, right. Um, do you happen to know of anything black that binds things? Uh, leather? I'm missing some crucial context here. Uh, I don't think it means bind- I, I don't think it means bind like in a knot, I think it means- well, I'm not really sure what it means. Hmm. Let's cross and then I'll think about it. Alright. This is going to be painful. Mm-hmm. Probably. Great. Well, here goes nothing. So, how was it? I never want to set foot in salt water again in my life. <laughs> that good. That good. Well, uh, if you figure, if you help me figure out what this riddle is all about, then I'll give you a vial of Falmer earwax for free. What? Now I'm not sure I believe you. I had a snake oil salesman in Riften trying to sell Falma blood elixir when I was down there, claiming all sorts of unusual things. Falma blood? Ew. No, that would just thin out the poison. And wax is better because... Because you can melt the ears down and then mix them with a poultice of death bell and blister wart. It drives people so mad with frenzy that they start to hurt themselves even after even if they have the willpower to not lash out at anything else. The trick, of course, is knowing the right dosage. But the consistency is better for coating arrows. I'm starting to think I ought to have you on my side. What did you say your name was again? I don't think I did. I'm Enna. Enna Croy. Miss Idros. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Uh, it- Need something? No. It's good to make yours too. You don't have to force it. 
Right, where were we? Something about binding with black... Oh. Oh? A soul gem, perhaps? S what do those have to do with binding? People enchant things with those, don't they? Indeed. But where do you think the power in the gems comes from? Souls? Souls. Souls. <laughs> as far as I know, and take this with a grain of salt, I'm not an enchanter. The size of the gem limits the size of the soul. And only black soul gems can keep people's souls in them. Like a king. Who are you planning to soul trap with such little knowledge on the matter? You know, I don't know yet. I need to narrow it down. Well, Skyrim doesn't have a king anymore. I don't think. Plenty of Jarls, though. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. How nice. Oh, I probably should have told that guard that just walked by. Right. Right. Where was I? Oh, Skyrim doesn't have a king anymore, as far as I'm aware. Plenty of Jarls, though. Meh. We'll check inside. No, I think it has to be a king. But not... Mad uh, not that one. I'm allied with him. Which actually only leaves... Oh. Leaves... Question. How does one go about putting a soul in a gem? With a soul trap spell. Or a weapon enchanted with that spell. Why? If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Right. Speaking of which... You're just in time to say hello to Rogvir. Who is Rogvir? He's the sorry bastard who's going to be executed. A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. Right. I actually wanted to report a death. The leader of the Dark Brotherhood. You did what? By the gods, you're serious. You'd better report this to Commander Mero right away. He's at the Penitus Oculatus outpost, up in Dragon Bridge. Dragon Bridge? Oh, that's down the road from here. Um, should we speak with the herbalist first? That's probably a prudent idea. Until next time. And also, since we're here and it looks like there's a lot of people and money places and things, I will trade you my strongest poison. Or a potion and or a potion of your choice if you can find me a weapon that does the soul trap thing and a black soul gem. I think I know what I need to do, I just don't know why. That's always the struggle, isn't it? Always. Oh, right, and you've certainly earned some Fulver earwax. Oh, the gods, there's so many people. Here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Swar, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. I certainly hope the alchemist is open. That her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Athar. They're all hard. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. Is this the place? I don't know. I hope so. Hello, I'm Gisli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. I would rather not, Gisli. Well, she's... Uh, interesting, isn't she? Right. Hello. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? No, sorry. 
Ah, oh, well, it was a long shot. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I am, yes. I'll take a couple of those. And a couple of these. And hope that it works. I'll let you two bargain. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. All right. I'll let you do your thing. I will go search the rest of the city and come back and get you. Uh, right? Okay. Are you sure about that? Now we'll go together. You seem nervous. I am nervous. Better. Won't do anything for the cuts, but... Oh well. Oh. I don't suppose any of your soul gems are on sale, are they? Probably not. Right. You really picked the wrong person to mess with. Well, there we are. How do you do that? Practice. Thank you. Would you like a hatchet? No, not really. I like to travel light. Well, for the most part. That will be Dragon Bridge down there. Ah, good. That didn't take long at all. That was not what I was expecting to find. Oh, the... Khajiit trying to murder us. That's the one. Oh, look at this place. Quaint, isn't it? If you want to call it that, yes. Mountainous. That's the ridge. Your home. Mm -hmm. For better or worse, and who are you looking for? I'm looking for them. Right. I don't like the looks of this. Oh. <laughs> now you see why it's called Dragon Bridge. Indeed I do. That is a dragon bridge. <laughs> right. Which one of you is Commander Morrow? I'm going to assume you. Yes? A guard sent me. I killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. The leader of the Dark Brotherhood? You mean Astrid? Dead? And this is no jest? Ha! Huh. This is a stroke of good fortune. Long have I watched the Dark Brotherhood's movement, waiting for the time to strike. That time is now. My agents have recently acquired the passphrase to their sanctuary. It is. Silence, my brother. Every assassin in that hole must be put down. You, my friend. You've slain their leader. This honor should be yours. Do this, and you will be rewarded most handsomely. Right, of course. And where is it exactly? Right. Well, this is going to be a long day. I will do this with pleasure, Commander Morrow. That was... Slightly intimidating. So... The Sanctuary. 
What kind of thing is it? Well, as far as I know, it will be a place marked by a strange black door. You mean like the one in Valkyrie? Yes. I'm going to assume the answer is yes. Right. I could actually take you there. I've seen that place before. I didn't know what to make of it. Although we might want to take the... cart. Or whatever the thing is with the horse. I don't really want to run the whole way. And I sh I'm sure you don't either. I mean, I could. I do sort of live in here, and I know the shortcuts, but I don't think you could keep up with me. You're probably right. Okay. We'll take the cart to Fulgris. You'll show me to this... sanctuary. I'll suit up and the two of us kill everyone inside. Sounds like a plan to me. You seem a bit... I hesitate to say excited because you don't seem excited, but you do seem enthusiastic. I am. Quite. Well, this is... Pretty, if overrun... Overgrown, rather. I quite like it. I actually know the man that lives in that house, the, the hut right there. His name's Volder. I... I saved it from a cave with spriggans in it. He gave me his dagger. Good on you. Now which way are we going? Um... Up the road to your right? And then look for sort of a thing off the road. Like a, a depression, a dip. Like a little pond thing. Right. Give me one moment also. Uh-huh. Take all the time you need. I'll turn away. Not what I meant. No, I really don't want to get blood on that. Alright. Now I'm ready. Somehow, all of that made you look slightly more intimidating. What did you say you were again? Besides an assassin? Oh. I might as well tell you. This outfit is not exactly conspicuous. No, it certainly isn't. I take it as some sort of... Like the uniforms that guards wear. Yes, yeah, something like that. Right down there. Ah, I see. Uh, lovely. Oh. You are coming. Of course. I just need a moment to poison some arrows. Take your time. Hopefully my spells won't fail me today. Silence, my brother. Well, this is interesting. Good. I almost didn't make it through that door. 
thought it was going to close and crush me. I'm glad to see that's not the case. Be careful, there's people in here. No. Really. <laughs> right, we'll loot the place on the way out. That sounds like a plan to me. Is someone there? Oh, that's the big man with the... Right? Oh. That is a nasty axe. Nothing in here. Something in here. We'll deal with that later. And also that. Right, you're not letting me get any shots in edgewise here. Well, this is my duty, I suppose. Those outfits that they wear can't be comfortable. No, they certainly can't. Gods. It's all about aim. I suppose I'd rather just shoot them from a distance, actually. That's probably the smart way to do it. Probably, he says. Right, rephrased. It is the smart way to do it. Nobody in here? So many of these passages look like they might- they might be... Secret passages. Indeed. What is this, I wonder? I don't really care, actually. Right, just lead on. I'll be as quiet as possible, and let you do your thing. Sorry. Well, looks like somebody hasn't dusted in a few hundred years. <laughs> Wrong weapon. What was that? Sorry. Now you're mine. Sorry about that. Eh, it's fine. I've been smacked with bowstrings before. There's a saber for you. Not the right kind. I will take that heart, though. 
I'm not going to ask. Probably best. Well, that was worth it. I sense sarcasm. You sense correct. They're well supplied. I suppose, sort of. Well. I didn't even have a chance to get up the stairs. Sorry. Dolphin arrows. Ooh, very nice. Hello. I'm not an enchanter, but... I can certainly learn them. Eh. Taking that. And here we are again. Oh, there's one of those walls that Siri likes to read. Well, I'll consider that mission accomplished. Right. That was... That was spectacular. I did not expect it to take... Not that long. Indeed. So many books. None of them are terribly interesting. Probably. Ah, oh, yes, the death cult of Sithis. Oh, is that what this is? Basically. Right, now we just have to go back and report this and be done with it. I'm surprised, actually, that you don't have any... Um, scars from running into the werewolves? Blame the potions. Right. I do hope that Commander Morrow won't be too terribly... I don't know... inconvenienced by us dropping in in the middle of the night. Oh, it's hardly the middle of the night. It's just barely... what? Okay, I suppose it's the middle of the night. Well, the good news is there's an inn. We'll be able to sleep it off. <laughs> that we will. And then what, exactly? Actually, if I could sort of come with you, I actually have things to pick up in Riften. I don't know if you're heading back that way. Well, sort of. By way of Windhelm. I'm alright with that. So we'll sleep it off and then head that way in the morning? Hopefully. We'll probably both be lost crossing the middle of this place. <laughs> that's fine by me. Right. Commander Morrow. By all I hold holy, can it be true? Have you actually done it? This is a great day, my friend. 
You have struck a blow against darkness that will not soon be forgotten. Here, as promised, a most generous reward. How much was it? 3,000 septims. Phew. Certainly enough for a room for the night. I'll say... Gods. That seems like a lot to me. I believe it's a lot for anyone. Ah, I could use a rest after all of that. I did not exactly get a full night of sleep the other day. Right. Has it been that long already? Oh yes. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Well, this is a... fine establishment. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. We'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Of course. Do you know an Alistair Roderick? I have never heard that name in my life. That makes two of us. Job well done, I say. Beautiful. Beautiful place. Indeed. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Very nice. Right. Who's taking first watch? Actually, I take that back. I think I am. Um, you need to sleep. Getting mauled by werewolves will do that. Uh, right. Um, have a good night. Please don't poison me in my sleep. I've had that once already today. This week. <laughs> right. I promise not to do anything untoward while you're unconscious. I'll probably just be mixing potions and whatnot over here. Just quietly, if you please. <laughs>